Like, damn, bitch, is more? Well, I'm not giving up on this marriage. Like, blah, 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 blah. This nigga drinking the Gatorade and pissing in the bottle. So, Baby, 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 baby. Let's get into this Risa Tisa. Okay, y'all, so if y'all have not seen this whole playlist on TikTok, it's called Risa T. Well, her name is Risa Tisa. It's called Who TF the F Did I Marry? So, who the F did I marry? And literally, who the F did she marry? But we're gonna get into this tea real quick. But before we get into this vlog, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all hit the notification bell so you know every time I post. And make sure y'all follow on Instagram and TikTok at Jasmine Love. All right, period. So we're gonna get into this tea real quick because it's juicy. So I feel like a lot of guys have not seen it. I know I asked my boyfriend if he saw it, and he was like, no, they were talking about it at work. But for the girls, y'all, I know y'all seen it. First of all, Shorty blew up overnight. She had 2.7 million um followers on tiktok now just off of this playlist the playlist is five hours long because she had, he, she did it in increment um but each little show or whatever was 10 minutes long so it equaled up to be like four hours and like 59 minutes so five hours so um there were 50 scenes to the playlist and it basically talked about how they started so they basically started on hinge they found each other on hinge and they started talking from there they were supposed to go out on a date and boy let me tell you god was sending so many smoke signals so many freaking signs that she just did not see and she said she she admitted to everything that she did wrong in the video so or the playlist so basically so their first date they were supposed to be going out to eat her attire blew out that was the first sign and she just she texted them and told him that um she's not gonna be able to make it because her tire blew out and of course here he comes to the rescue he's like well i'll come change your tire for you so that was like his first plus one right there so like he looked good in her eyes or whatever so um he meets up with her he changes her tire and now he's like the best thing ever so then it's this is during covid so then like covid hits real bad or whatever so now we on lockdown and um he apparently has his own place or whatever he was supposed to be like this football player that he he used to be a football player but he's not anymore but he works for apple now or whatever and he's been working for apple for like six years so um when covid hit or whatever they ended up locking down and he stayed over her house um she i don't think she ever she never mentioned if she went over his house or not but um but she did go to he went to her house so boom a little bit of time fast forward like they kicking and they chilling and whatever like that and then um she end up get um she ends up getting pregnant this is the second sign so she had a miscarriage okay um and then and she said she was like really worried about that because she's older she's plus size and all that type of stuff so she really didn't know if you know this would be a really good idea but she went through with it because she you know basically don't believe in abortions so cool so then like he's like uh, she's telling him like you know i really don't want to be pregnant and not be married and blah 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 so he's like okay so because it was during covid first of all they hadn't met each other's like people like family and stuff like that none of the friends and all that type of stuff but he was talking on the phone to like his brother um every single morning which to me sounded weird like my boyfriend don't talk to his brother every morning he'll talk to his sister every morning either. whatever so um, he was talking to his brother every single morning and yeah that was that and but she never really heard his voice he would just have like the phone like this or whatever and he'd be like yeah you know she over here she getting dressed or whatever yeah we about to uh, we better go to the store blah, blah blah oh but my uh my brother said hi and she like oh tell him I say hey and he like oh yeah she said what's up so it was like that type of thing so she never really heard his voice she never talked to him but to me that was weird too so whatever so then um boom they ended up getting married i don't think she i don't remember her really going into that because y'all this was long i watched this over a couple of days because this was like binge watching i ain't even gonna lie to you um but 
they got married or whatever but they're like trying to find a house so basically they find a realtor or whatever and they go and look at this house house nice boom she like oh it's perfect i'm like thinking of all these different ideas that i have to fix up my house blah blah blah, 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 blah. so then um he's like they looked at a couple different houses so then he's like yeah i'm gonna put an offer in on this house and it was like some crazy number like I want, i'm gonna put down like nine thousand dollars cash so she like oh all right bet this was my third thing so you ain't got nothing to do with this house you not seeing none of the paperwork go through he just like saying that he doing it or whatever like he just i don't know you don't know him this well to be going through this with him like no you're not about to be just telling me that you putting down all this money cash you sitting there all this paperwork you the only one talking to the realtor like all this other stuff it just was it was just weird but whatever okay cool so then um she's like so he's like yeah i'm gonna put a uh, i'm gonna put an offer in so she's like okay cool so then um she said something just told her she asked him about the house and he was like yeah like you know it's it's under um what's it called whatever they about to get the house so she said um she go look on zillow because something just told her to look on zillow and it said um that it was under contract so he was like i told you i told you i told you blah 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 so then like i guess some time went by and she hadn't heard anything so she asked again like you know like what's going on with the house and he's like oh um the house fell through when was you gonna tell me if i didn't ask you wasn't gonna tell me all right cool whatever so then um all right, so that house was gone. Then they went and looked at another house. They put an offer in on another house, blah, blah, blah. So the house basically never happened. Like, they never bought a house together. Then um, he was talking about how he had all this money from when he was a football player before in the past life. And um, he's like, um, he's like, I got all this money in these offshore accounts, but he don't want to show her the accounts. He, she like getting suspicious like i ain't never seen you know i ain't never seen none of this money type stuff whatever but mind you he's paying her bills so all she's paying for is like the food that go in the house and her car note or car insurance that was it so he's paying like the rent or whatever all the time and like that's what he deals with so she like you know he must be getting some money from somewhere and at the end of the story we still ain't find out where he was getting the money from um so then what happens so then um oh so like he says that his freaking grandma just died from covid and he was so sad he's like crying and boo hoo hoo then um he ends up killing off somebody else he's like oh yeah my ex um my ex-wife you know our daughter uh, her daughter died and um from covid and she's like dang like it, it just was like a whole lot so whatever so come to find out uh the grandmother died in 2008 and the daughter is still alive whatever i'll get into that later so then um she's like uh so then everything just starts seeming like real suspicious to her or whatever so she just kind of gets she starts creeping like researching stuff so she ends up um oh so then she gets she's like you know i want to be able to pay for my own stuff so i'm about to get another job so he um she applies for a job but i guess they got to do a background check on him because he's married too so she asked him for his social security number mind you when they got married she said she kind of like took a photographic picture of his social security number when they got married so when she asked for it again she said it was different so that's when she really started like looking stuff up and she was just getting like okay everything's not clicking like something's wrong or whatever so she ended up looking it up and um she also said that when she was on hinge it was like two different he had two different names so she found out that one of the names on hinge was his real name and then the other one was like his alias name or whatever cool she ended up finding his ex-wife like going through all the, like googling stuff and finding like court documents and stuff like that i don't remember how she said she found that but she found it ended up finding his ex-wife so she got a phone number for her and she called her and basically she was like everything that he tells you is a lie everything is a lie don't believe anything that he says so she's like for real like so she ends up asking her asking her like you know you know how is your daughter and she was like the ex-wife was like well how you know why are you asking about my daughter and she was like you know it's just covid going on i just wanted to say um i just wanted to know what was going on he kind of mentioned that she was sick and she was like oh she's fine so that was when she found out that the daughter was still alive 
um she talks about his wife a lot whatever then um so he ends up hurting his knee at work so he's like on bed rest or whatever and um so he they have like a three bedroom townhouse or something like that so he's like living in the guest room right now and he's losing weight she was like he was like a 3xl when they first met but he was losing so much weight now he's like a 2xl so he wasn't really eating for us she was like basically she made this point to say like basically if she bought if she bought 10 chicken wings he was only gonna eat two so um little tiny flats little, little wings or whatever so um so he was he's living in his room or whatever so she ended up um so all he was drinking was like powerade or gatorade or something like that to keep his like electrolytes up but he's not eating at all like literally at all so she ends up going in there one day and she's like um he's asleep so she goes through his phone okay so she ends up going through his phone or whatever because he's asleep so she goes through his phone oh first of all he has two phones so the first phone was is like his actual phone the second phone ended up being a prepaid phone that he said was his company phone but it we ended up finding out that it was a prepaid phone that um he freaking was paying for monthly or whatever or by the minutes so she goes to his phone and she sees these text messages from this girl or whatever and i think it was like on whatsapp or something like that it was on some something weird and basically she's talking about like um you know like uh i don't know they was talking about sex and they were sending pictures to each other of stuff pictures of yeah and um then like he's like asking her like how much for a um a hand job and she's like uh forty dollars and then she like um he's like how much for a blow job and she's like uh sixty dollars with a con sixty dollars with a condom eighty dollars without a condom so she he's like okay cool then um he basically the text messages make it look like he was in front of the house he was like is it the house with the brown trash can or something like that and she's like yeah so basically he was at her house and then um she ended up saying it, the next text message and it was basically like um well uh something like um that was good or he was like that was great that's what he said that was great so like they they did something so they did something right so that was that so now she's like feel, i know me i would be feeling disgusted as fuck like what the fuck so i'm like oh my god so after that so then she's like um so she found out that he's just lying like she's just finding out that he's just lying and lying and lying but she like this only like five percent of it so i'm like damn bitch is more so then she goes to say that it's his birthday it's like june 27th 29th it's something like that or whatever so um it's his birthday she goes in the room and she basically asks him um you never went to whatever high school he said he went to in California. And he was like, we been through this, blah, 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 blah. Because she, she had called the school that he said he went to. And it was like Sacramento or something like that. And they was like, we don't have a record of him being here. So that was another lie that, he found, that she found out. So she, like, um, so she was like, you never went to the school that you said you went to, right? And he was like, we went through this. Like, I told you that my father... Um, my father did something. I can't remember what it was. It was like some. It, it was like hiding his name or something. It was something dumb. So she was like, okay. So she was basically like, you need to get your shit and you need to get out. Like you need to get out now. And he like, come on, like, what you mean? She was like, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. And she's like, he like, what you mean? Like our marriage? And she like, yeah. So he like. I'm not giving up on this marriage. Like, you're not supposed to get divorced. You're supposed to be married. Like, blah, 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 blah. So, um, so then they freaking, um, so she's like, you need to get your shit. You need to get out. So he, she, he's finally realizing, like, she's serious. So, um, he ends up calling his aunt that she's talked to before and actually finally a real person that she's actually talked to. So she ends up um, talking to the, the aunt or whatever, and the aunt's like, um, the aunt's like, yeah, you might want to get your shit and get out because you can come here. I'll send you some money. And she's like, you don't need no money. You got all this money in your offshore accounts, right? So what you need money for? You don't need money from her, blah, 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 blah. So um, he starts getting his stuff or whatever. And she's like, she realized when he got up 
that he had lost so much weight. He started putting his pants on or whatever. She lost, he lost so much weight. But she also realized that the fucking Gatorade bottles that he been drinking, this nigga been laying in the bed the whole time to the point where he pissing in the bottles. This nigga drinking the Gatorade and pissing in the bottles. So she like looking at it like, what's in those bottles? I know that's not pissing in them bottles. And you got this shit up in my house? Like... I was like, what the fuck? That's just, it's tri that's just, that shit is just trifling. And then you just, she was like, it was literally bottles and bottles and bottles everywhere. She was like, it was just so much, so many bottles everywhere. And then like most of them had pee in it. I was like, that's fucking disgusting. That's some nasty ass shit for your ass. So she was like, off that alone, she was like, yeah, you gotta go. You gotta get out. Get the fuck out. So then um he's talking to his aunt and he's like i guess like getting this shit or whatever but he got a limp because it told you he hurt, he hurt his knee or whatever at work so um he told his aunt this was like really took her over the fucking top she was like he told his aunt um you know i've never lied to her and she was like bitch what like she just started going up. she said she started scanning the room to see what the fuck like for weapons like what she could pick up and what she could throw up. she said she looked at the lamp she said he saw her. she said she started throwing stuff she just started throwing stuff and she said she was on the phone with i think her mother or her aunt or something like that and he, she they telling him like you need to get the fuck out she about to kill your ass you need to get out so she said she looked at the lamp and she said he saw her look at the lamp <laughs> And like, he was basically like, all right, I'm getting my shit. She said she went and popped, he, she went and got his keys, popped his trunk, took his bag and threw that bitch in there. And was like, get the fuck. So then um, she was like, he ended up um, going to his aunt's house or whatever. And he texted her and was like that he was there. And um, then he got, a, she got a call from his cousin. Some girl cousin or whatever, she said, she basically called her, uh, wrote her on Facebook, found her on Facebook and wrote her. And was basically like, we never knew that y'all was married. He came in here talking about she kicked me out because, um, because I found her, um, cheating with a police officer or some police person image or whatever. And he threatened me to get out with a gun or whatever, which was a total lie. But yeah, so, um, so the, the cousin's like, we didn't even know that y'all was married. Like we didn't know anything about you blah 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 so then she's like um he's like she was like it's crazy because he was talking to his brother every day and she was like the cousin was like what you mean because he don't his brothers don't fuck with him so she like well how many brothers do you think he has and she was like oh well he he told me he has four brothers and two sisters she was like he has two brothers one is his twin they go to never lie and he doesn't have any sisters. So she like, what? She was like, but she he talks to him every day on the phone. She was like, he wasn't talking to anybody. She was like, I can let you talk to his brother. So she ends up talking to the brother. And the brother's like, he ain't talking to me. He know I whip his ass the next time I see him. I ain't seen him in a minute. Like, I ain't seen him in years. I don't fuck with him. He was like, his other, their other brother, they do talk every now and then. But he don't really fuck with him either. So, um, so Eric, so she like, what the, f and I'm sitting here like, damn, bitch. So then, um, he, and she ends up saying like, well, you know, your daughter is her name Egypt. And she, he's like, no, I no daughter named Egypt. I do have a daughter. And she was like, well, he told me that, um, she lives with her, that your daughter lives with your, with her mom. And she was sending her birthday gifts all the, he was sending her birthday gifts all the time, every year. He was like, I'm pretty sure my daughter has not talked to him in years. So now she's sitting here like, well, who the did I go shopping for? Because I done went to, she said, I went to Rock Room Shoes. <laughs> I went to Rock Room Shoes and bought, found some shoes for her and um, packed them up and sent them off through FedEx or whatever, UPS, whatever. And um, he's like, well, you sure you weren't buying another for, no, for another girl? And he was, she was like, no, because um, they were kids' shoes. Whatever. We don't know who she was sent, who he was sending them shoes to. So okay, cool. Then what else did she find out? So then um she's like filing for the divorce stuff or whatever. Like she's just filing for the divorce stuff. He's basically like um he's still calling her, texting her, and he's basically like you know um I still need to come get my stuff because when he left he on he left with a bag. They living together, so he clearly has a bunch of stuff there, and um. 
so she filed for the divorce papers and stuff like that and he basically told her like you know i still need to come back and i still need to get all my stuff and um whatever then she ends up talking to the aunt his aunt and she's like um basically basically long story short she's like he told me i had a kid together she's like no i'm pretty sure i had a miscarriage back back in whenever and she's like what he was she was like the aunt was like well he's been coming to i think it was augusta he's been coming to augusta like i see him all the time he comes to augusta all the time so basically when she was at work he was driving to augusta for whatever reason and he was um she told he told the aunt that he's been he's going to augusta to, to look at some go to some church that their his mother and father like owned or whatever and um the aunt was asking him like you know next time you come can you bring the baby like next time you come she just kept saying it like next time you come can you bring the baby she said she was asking for pictures and he would never show her pictures and stuff like that blah 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 so she was really really reaching out to her uh Risa Tisa to get some truth because she just wasn't clicking um so yeah so then she ended up filing for the divorce papers or whatever and then um he ended up I think texting her or something like that and was like I still need to come get my stuff so she had been in contact with like a so like the police station or whatever like that deputy something sheriff something and um, I think they ended up somehow finding out that he had a warrant out for his arrest it was yeah I'm literally summing it up it was so much more than this but I'm summing it up if you don't want to go look at it or whatever you just want the sum this what this is the summary this what this is so um so the deputy's like, you know, let him come to the house. When he gets there, call us. We'll come. Go we'll arrest him. So she like, bet. So he ends up pulling up. And I guess he, he knows that her car is usually in the garage. So he backs all the way up to the garage. Her garage door is closed. She's not home yet. Backs all the way up to the garage. She's driving some little fleet car. So he don't know the kind of car she's driving. So when she pulls like close to her house, she realizes that he's there. He's outside the house or whatever. So she calls the sh the um, police department or whatever, and she's like, um, you know, he's here. He can't get in because the doors are locked. The um, I changed the locks or whatever. So, but he's here. So the police pull up and he get out the car and they arrest him. And he was basically telling the police officer like you know i really want to say something to her can i just say something to her so they come over to her and they like you know he wants to say something to you is that cool and she's like yeah that's fine so he uh she comes over there and he's like you know i'm just i'm so sorry like i'm just sorry he said some other stuff but i don't remember what he said that was basically the, the midst of it so then they take him off in the police car or whatever and um they have a divorce court i mean they um they go to court but it's during covid so it's on the internet or whatever it's on like teams or zoom whatever it's called and um she said she was reaching out to his lawyer or whatever they're called and he was basically like really rude with her and she was trying to ask him like you know basically is he gonna get out right now or like what's gonna happen because i'm kind of fearing for my life because you know i don't know if he's gonna try to come retaliate or what so the um the guy was basically like uh he was rude but he was like um he is gonna get out because the warrant would had expired and um back in like six months ago or something like that so now she like shit so she ends up moving like she moved like she moved into another house bought another house or rent, rented another house whatever and she she has this new job so she says she's at work and she gets a call um they he calls the job or whatever and he's like asking for her information because he needs to come get his stuff blah blah blah, blah. and she said her friend had told her to text him text him because it has a timestamp. so text him and tell him that we don't talk anymore like we're done basically like don't call my phone no more don't call my job like blah 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 whatever so then the end of it is like this sob music and she's just like yep that was that's what happened and you know it's just sad and you know i just hope to reach out to one person out here she was like that she uh <laughs> she donated all his stuff to the um to the uh house for like domestic violence or whatever like that so yeah so 
Shorty blew up overnight. When I say overnight, this whole span was like six days. Like this little playlist was like six days or whatever like that. Like it wasn't longer than 10 days. I give you that. Her marketing strategy like that. And I don't even think she meant it like that, but the bitch blew up. Um the title that she had, the who the fuck did I marry with the question mark. Her name was easy, Risa Tisa. I think she was just a regular girl that was posting TikToks or whatever. And then she posted this playlist. The way that she did it was smart. Because you know how when you're watching a show and you like, oh, this is getting good, this is getting intense, you got your popcorn, you got your tea, and then boom, you gotta wait for another season or you gotta wait for the next episode. Nah, she pushed all her shit out. She pushed everything out, which pushed her out, pushed her to the top of the algorithm, which was smart as shit. So everybody binging this shit, everybody's talking about this shit. Like, when I Googled this shit, when, when I put it in on YouTube, the little fire emoji came out, that means it's trending. So I'm like, damn, like, yeah, she, her whole marketing strategy was A1. It was perfect. I will give her that. Now, all these goddamn red flags that she just drove past was fucking ridiculous. I will say that. But when you in love with somebody, I get it. Like, you, you kind of look past the dumb shit. You kind of, you know, you, you keep it pushing. You don't want to believe what you see and all this type of stuff. Like, I get where she was coming from with that. I will, I will say that. But her red flags was crazy. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it just... From the outside looking in, it looks crazy. But I think, honestly, being in the situation, I don't think it would have been that fucking crazy to a real person. Like, if you're a person where you want and done, okay. But if you're a person that tries to work shit out and tries to stick it out, then, yeah, I could kind of see you in that situation, which makes it um, very unfortunate. But at the same time, I I get it. Like, I, I, can, I can actually understand it. Um, but the, the story was popcorn worthy. That shit was crazy. And the way that she built the story up was even better. Like the, the intensity of the situ of the story was just like, wow. Okay. What's going to happen next? And then it popped right back into, and her, her little thing, I'm going to pop it up right here. But her little thing was hilarious because it would be like, okay, part 42 of who the fuck did I marry? And like she did that for every single one for the most part. It was a few of them that she didn't because she would go right back into it. But it was hilarious. She talking about she going to do a live and all that type of stuff so people can ask their questions. It's a lot of people in her comments that's bashing the fuck out of her. Which I think is wild. Because if she really did go through like this, this whole story could be made the fuck out. We have no idea. We don't know her. We don't know anything that happened in her life for real. I mean if you were a friend then yeah you would know. But if you don't know like I don't know her. I ain't never seen her before. Never heard of her. Whatever. But the story could be made up, but the way that she built up the intensity of that job was like, damn. Like, you literally, you just saying, you watching a little, a little mini show. But, whatever. He lied about so much, killing people off. He lied about his name, social security number, his past. He was married, I think, more than once. Um, he had no fucking money. Like, he was living out of his car when she kicked him out. He had no money at all. Talking about he had four brothers and two sisters. He only had two brothers, no sisters, and he had a twin. That was crazy. Um, the older oh, might so when they were having, when they were trying to get the house, she uh, no, they went through marriage counseling. I forgot about that. They went through marriage counseling, and basically she ended up telling her, telling them that you know, like he won't show her his accounts, blah blah blah. Like I mean, I don't ask to see my man's account either, but whatever. So I guess because he was talking about all this money that he had, she was off some like. Okay, let me see your account. This nigga showed her a picture of a, an account that had like $9,600 in it. Something like that. Some, a big number. To, to some regular people, that's a big number. So, um, he showed her that. She ended up taking that picture, looking at, um, taking that picture and putting it in Google. A Google reverse or something like that. And realizing it was a Google picture. And then the picture of the car. He was talking about he was going to buy her these cars. This was the sad part for me. So like she said she grew up on welfare. Which is sad. It's unfortunate. But she said he was taking her to like these different car dealerships. BMW. All this other type of stuff. Looking at these cars. Test driving these cars. Talking about he going to buy her a BMW X5 and X6. And all this other shit. And then he ended up having a car. A company car. But he left it at his job. So, and then the other thing was, 
you never went to his job you've never been to his job never talked to nobody at his job nothing like oh it's just this is just weird like it just was weird um but him like feeding her this fantasy was like it was kind of sad um you know she really she wanted another car he said he was gonna get her a car i never got the shit then like she said her dream vacation was to go to paris france and he ended up getting her tickets and putting them on the counter when she got home she opened the envelope and was like what's this and he was like it's just something for you or whatever and she opened it up and it was like an itinerary for paris so she's like all excited and stuff like that never went so it's just like little shit like that that's like bro punch this nigga in his face like oh god it's just it, it was sad it was a story shorty gonna get picked up she gonna put she gonna get put on netflix i guarantee you mark my fucking words they're gonna put her on netflix but i don't know y'all just want to give y'all a little reaction a little summary for that story but it was a sad case man now she ain't gonna want to date anymore I know I wouldn't want to, but yeah, okay. So my moral to this whole story is, please watch out for the red flags. Even if them bitches smack you in the face, watch out for the red flags for one. For two, make sure you actually talk to real people. Don't just say, oh yeah, hey, tell your brother I said hi. Like, no, actually like talk to them. We got FaceTime now. We got WhatsApp. We got, um... It's another little phone thing that you can call Google call people and stuff like that. Like, actually see this person's face. Actually talk to these people. Like, yes, they could still be lying, but at least it give you a clearer image of who this person is. Like, don't just be gone with the flow and doing what they saying. He talking about buying a house. You ain't never seen no paperwork, no nothing. Like, I just, it was way too many red flags for me. Like, get yourself out while you can. Just. Don't waste your fucking time. She wasted some years with this dude. I don't know how many years, but she wasted a couple years with this dude. Just y'all. And I will say, go watch that Risa Tisa. If you got time, go watch that Risa Tisa. That junk was, that was some tea, baby. It was some tea. But I'm going to see y'all in the next vlog. Bye, y'all.